So it was recently discovered that the Mastercraft bundles, the camos that they've been selling, are not going to be available in reserves. They're currently not available in reserves, so you can't earn camos that they've charged money for. We're not sure if these are due to legal reasons or whatever, but today I wanted to cover the Black Ops Pass Season 3 updates. We've got about 26 days left in Operation Grand Heist. So drop a like on today's video if you like discussion videos, patch notes, updates anything involving Call of Duty, this is pretty much a Call of Duty channel unless another great game comes along, including next year, Infinity Ward's next game, we're going to be covering that too, but back to the Black Ops Pass, right now on PS4 it's $49.99, and you really get what you pay for, so what it says is pretty much all that's included. Now let's go ahead and talk about this, the Hammer Bundle that we know is $28 on PS4 was now eight dollars on PC just a little update as to how pricing is changing every now and then in the black market there's a lot of things that play a factor here on Black Ops 4 and a lot of people's impressions with the Black Ops Pass some things that were recently introduced that aren't Black Ops Pass exclusive was the bare bones mode in multiplayer the no specialist game mode that you're seeing me play right now there is a core and a hardcore version of this now in blackout there's the Alcatraz new map 40 players, quads only. And the question has to be asked, is it just too late introducing quads only? Because you need to have solos and duos and maybe even trios for people to just be continually playing and continually be interested. This is the problem with Apex Legends, is they just kept it uh, three-player squads, and they haven't changed that yet. Even through Season 1 and their new Battle Pass, they still only have three players, no solos, no duos, and I think this is a problem here in Blackout as well, because these aren't included in the LTMs. This is a whole new map, and so I think you need to have those right away for the whole player base to experience, and not let DLC exclusivity be a factor. Like, Xbox and PC should already be playing this for sure, because this isn't included in the Black Ops Pass. But something that is included is Ancient Evil, the new map in Zombies with the Chaos storyline. And five zombies experiences total is what we're going to be getting with the Black Ops Pass. We already have three out of five, and I would say zombies and Blackout are getting so many more updates and DLC content from the Black Ops Pass than multiplayer is. They've only got four out of 12 multiplayer maps so far, so they're really getting shafted on this end. So I wanted to showcase gameplay today of multiplayer showing some love. But up next, what do we got coming for multiplayer? We got Infected Mode. That's definitely what's coming next, and I'm pretty sure there's going to be a week in between between Xbox and PC. It's kind of BS, but exclusivity is still just a thing. Three new maps are rumored for the end of this month. That's what some of the leaks are saying. Three new multiplayer maps. So we'll see if that comes with the next operation that starts on May 1st, 2019. Now there's certain power-ups that are very exclusive to Ancient Evil. I want to talk about this because these six power-ups, I think, should be going across all the maps that we have so far. Even the base maps for players that play Zombies that don't have the Black Ops Pass. We got a Heart that's an extra revive. We got a Bowie Knife weapon power-up. We got Bullet Boost, which is double pack punch. We got a Shield Drop, Free Shield. We got Grenades, Grenade Power-up, which is Max Grenades, and Mini Bonus Points, which are 100 bonus points each. So just like in Black Ops 3 on the Giant where we saw the Death Machine power-up randomly show up one day, it was a Treyarch DLC power-up add-on for all the maps, this should be sort of be the same thing, not just exclusive to Ancient Evil, it should be across all the maps. Just my own personal opinion, but Blackout is also free to play all month of April, so get your hands on some Blackout if you don't already have the game. But to sum things up, where we're at right now in the Black Ops Pass, total we're getting 12 multiplayer maps. We currently have 4 out of 12 maps in multiplayer, 3 more rumored to come before or at the start of this next operation. 4 Blackout characters total in the Black Ops Pass, we currently have 3 out of 4, and 5 Zombies experiences. We currently have 3 maps out of the 5 maps that are coming, and two, the last 2 are going to be Ether maps, dealing with Rick Toffin and our premise crew. But when it comes to the Black Ops Pass and that $50 price tag, and we got to ask ourselves, is it worth it? Well, the things that are missing right now that Treyarch needs to adapt with this, that's sort of like taken from Fortnite, bringing it into Black Ops 4, bear with me. A daily login bonus, we've seen that in Black Ops 3. I think the daily login bonus can give us free reserve cases. DLC weapons that we've had in Black Ops 2, such as the Peacekeeper, pick up available for non-pass holders so they can get interested maybe buying the Black Ops Pass. Operation Black Ops Pass challenges that are weekly, sort of like Fortnite. They have weekly challenges with their season, their battle pass. We should have those with our operations. 
and Black Ops Pass weekly callings for zombies. If that needs to be a thing, we're going to have weekly factions. But what about the Black Ops Pass challenges? Should we have weekly callings in zombies? These are the ideas for improvements that I think should happen for DLC 3, DLC 4 coming, and Black Ops 4. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next one. Violent out.